This video is here to help you to take the leap to switching to a menstrual cup. If you're still not familiar with the Ruby Cup, then why don't you head to our other video tutorial called What on Earth is a Menstrual Cup? I'm Hannah, I'm one of the trainers at Ruby Cup. Ruby Cup is a social enterprise which makes menstrual cups. This is a video tutorial from a set of videos which help you care for your flow and know a little bit more about your menstrual cup. So perhaps you have a menstrual cup at the deep depths of your cupboard. Or maybe at the moment you're having loads of conversations with friends and you're debating whether to buy a menstrual cup or not. Well, today that's what we're going to explore. I switched to a menstrual cup because of its eco-friendly benefits, which we'll also unpack later. But we'll also go through some myths. First and foremost, super, super healthy. The menstrual cup is made from 100% medical graded silicon, which means it's free from toxins, nasties, all of that stuff. The menstrual cup is also less fuss. This is it, full. Did you know it holds three times the capacity of your usual pads or tampons? I especially like this because it means I never wake up with bloody bed sheets anymore. My favorite benefit, it's eco-friendly. 12,000 single use products get disposed of over the course of someone that menstruates lifetime. So when you buy a Ruby cup, you are swapping to a drastically reduced environmental impact. It's also super affordable. When you buy a Ruby cup after about five or six months, you've already paid that back in contrast to single use products such as pads or tampons. And because you can use it for up to 10 years, you save incredible amounts over decades. The Ruby cup is also a vegan friendly product. We are backed 100% by the vegan society. 100% money back guarantee. So if you wanna switch sizes, that's no problem. We issue exchanges and full refunds within 120 days of purchase. And we are a social enterprise. We operate on a life-saving model. When you buy a Ruby cup, you aren't just buying a menstrual care product for yourself. You're buying a worry-free period for someone else. Now I'm quickly gonna run through some of the myths that we feel really need busting when you're making that leap. So people come to us and say it won't fit. Let me kindly remind you, your vagina has the capability of fitting a baby's head into it. All you need to do is get it down to its tiny size, which it folds into, pop it in, and you're fine. A lot of people say also that it might get lost. So if you imagine my arm is your vagina, you have a cervix at the top, you have the opening, which is the vulva, you just pop it up. It really has got nowhere to go. The cervix kind of acts like a lid. And like I said, you fold it small, you insert, let it pop, and you're fine. Some people express that they're a virgin. You only lose your virginity when you have sex. The hymen is a membrane that sits at the opening of your vagina that only partially covers it. If it fully covered it, then you wouldn't be able to have a period. This means you're totally fine to use a menstrual cup. Finally, people come to us and say, I won't figure it out, which is why we've made these tutorials. And also let me comfort you. There are over 200,000 Ruby cup users across the world and people use menstrual cups beyond simply the ruby. If we've managed to persuade you, then go wash your hands, dig out that cup, and go use it. 